we came home after eight days on vacation. First of all, I think everybody did an awful lot of stress shedding because I picked up like four giant hairballs in two days. Gross. And uh, my mouse was covered in fur. I have all my Funkos on a shelf here, all over the room, just murdered. And uh, we were gone for eight days. And after like not leaving for two years and then just taking short trips, I think they were a little fed up by like day seven or eight. <laughs> and it was just <laughs> <anarchy>. <laughs> So how, how was Hawaii? It was great. It was really good. We renewed our wedding vows. So I married him again. Um, and we went kayaking with sea turtles. Okay. Did you went. Ca- were you. How. You weren't Basically. on them, were you? Mm-hmm. You weren't on them, were you? No, there's they're very oh, strict okay. about the sea turtles because they're a protected species. It's like a five hundred dollar fine if you even get caught touching them. I'm thinking like you and Dan are out there. Okay, let's go paddling a nine turtle. Yeah, you <laughs> you do not nine the sea turtles, but there is a bay where there a lot of them are known to hang out where there's oh. like fifty. So they do little kayak tours around the bay, um, and we saw sixteen. On our and like they're used to people, so like you're not allowed to touch them, but they're allowed to touch you. It's like lap dance rules. <laughs> so like the turtles will just swim right up to you and come up out of the water and be like, "What's up? How's it going? You having a good time?" I'm told if you like snorkel or scuba dive, they will walk right up and like bump their head on your mask. Like they're just like, "Hey, what's, ha- what's happening?" Spe- speaking of other uh, wildlife experience, you talked about uh, you were at the uh, the. the- the nice restaurant in the hotel. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Oh my God. (laughs) So we were staying at a pretty bougie resort because we're bougie. And this restaurant, this resort has like five different restaurants. Okay. All different locals. There's a little like coffee shop in the lobby there. Like whatever your speed is, there's like a poolside bar where you can get food literally in your bathing suit. And then there's like the five star restaurant. That is supposed to be kind of fancy. So like we got dressed up nice and went and there were a lot of people that just rolled in in their bathing suits and we're like, and like technically they can't tell you that you can't stay, but you're supposed to kind of know. Um, so this family sits next to us, man. And like, they, they like, for, they're all like the men are all in their swim trunks. And first of all, they try, they ask, like, what's the drinking age here? Well, it's America. So 21. You'd be raised how many people forget that Hawaii is America. Um, he wanted to order his 14-year-old Mai Tai. And they were like, he definitely, he can have a pineapple juice. That's what wow. he can have. Uh, and then, so Hawaii has a lot of, if you saw Moana, this won't surprise you, wild chickens that are just all the night for the place. Like wherever you go, there's just chickens wandering around. And you leave well, them it's not like they're, they're just doing their... It's not like there are mountain lions or wolves in Hawaii. Right. You just, you just let them do their chicken business. Um, so one of the specials on the menu is a chicken dish. And the patriarch of this family was like, oh, you just, you just grab one of the ones from outside. No, they don't. Then, like, so now I'm invested in like eavesdropping, and this dude starts explaining park and parks and rec to someone else in the family. And he's like, "Yeah, it's this show for liberals, but there's this one character, Ron Swanson, who like is the liberals' idea of a libertarian, but he's a really cool character." So it's pretty much the whole definition of we can't take you anywhere. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Just a little embarrassing. I was a little sad. The last time we went to this resort, um, it was riddled with cats. Because Hawaii has tons of feral cats. And this resort would basically TNR them because it means they don't have mice. (laughs) Um, The the cats live like fucking kings because sucker tourists like me give give them chicken and 
they have a Bloody Mary with a big thing of bacon in it. So you give them the bacon, you know, like, and they live on a beautiful beach. Like, that's the fucking life. I mean, yeah. And they had just, one of the executive's daughters works for a cat rescue and had just come in like the week before to trap all the cats to bring them in for like vet visits. Oh. So there were no kitties. That was sad. Well, it's good to have you back. I don't think you're going to agree, but. <laughs> Why do I get poop? So anyway, let's get the intro going. Here. Each week, gathering Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, bring back all sorts of horrible stuff, a little something we like to call, what the fuck is wrong with you? And we're going to start, like, we have, we have, as a society, have grown, but humans really don't change. And... We've been doing this show for for ages and ages. I love how people quite often are like, "Well, you know, back back in the, things were different in other times. You know, there, there's back in, you know, the, yeah. d- 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 people weren't and like so this. People just got stupid. Yeah, this suddenly all of uh, but uh, no, 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 because uh, some archaeologists in uh, I think this is the UK. Yeah, uh, it's it's trying to I, I try to try and keep track of it's the UK or Ireland or which, but. Uh, it was in the UK. They they uh, did some uh, archaeology at a uh, Roman fort, and um, we've pretty much always been this ancient oh God, Roman yeah. ancient Roman soldier carved a phallus with a personal insult into the stone. Look at the artistry. <laughs> now imagine, like you don't get that kind of quality now when we have sharpies. <laughs> <laughs> this took hours. Horse hours been drawn dicks. Leaguer. Up your quality, draw on your dicks. Look what the Romans did. The carving also included a p- crude personal indult, insult directed at someone named Secundius. Secundi- Secundinus? Secundinus. Um, archaeologists uh-huh. excavating the remains of a Roman auxiliary fort in the UK recently made a surprising and rather hilarious find. A small stone carved with the unmistakable image of a penis, basically an ancient Roman dick pic, accompanied with a crude insult directed at someone in the carver just uh, clearly disliked. Um, the translation, what was the translation? It's down here. Where is it? Uh, I, the stone is fairly small, measuring 40 centimeters wide by 15 centimeters tall. Uh, experts in Roman ep- epigraphy? epigraphy, I think I said that right. Um, recognized lettering is a mangled version of uh, Secundinus Cacator, which translates into Secundinus the Shitter. The penis image merely adds insult to injury, a clever subversion of the tr- traditional interpretation of a phallus as a positive symbol of fertility. Uh, the, the, the Vindola the Vindolata site now has 13 phallic <laughs> carvings, more than have been discovered at any other dick site along Hedge Hadrian's Wall. Amazing. Horse but draw dicks. There literally was one guy. I just think about how much you have to fucking hate somebody <laughs> to carve it, to put in this kind of time. Like, it's easy to be like, Joe's a fucking asshole on the bathroom stall, right? Yeah. That takes no effort, no time. They didn't have power drills back then in ancient Rome. So, like, this was time. Like, you were nursing this grudge like a little tiny pet. Hey, Joe Bobacus, what are you doing? Huh? <laughs> Am. <laughs> Send in a message. Like, I want to know what Secundinus did. I want to know what, like, did, was this guy, like, making these and passing them out when someone pissed him off? You get yeah, a dick like, carving? Were, were you ca- carrying them around? Just waiting for, oh, I've waited for this. <laughs> so we've kind of always been this fucking stupid. 
I will, however, I will say, at least back then, they had to put in more effort to be this big of an idiot. idiot. Yeah. Yeah, it, it took a lot more work to be stupid. And given how easy it is now, think about how bad the effort is. Right. You, you had to be dedicated to your idiocy back then. You, kids like these now, days. people can just get on Twitter and be like, LOL, no. Up your fucking game. This guy spent days carving a dick. Let me see some fucking effort. Uh, so back to the modern era. And, uh, <laughs> oh, God. We, one of the things we quite often highlight here on the show is you can be living your life, going about day to day, minding your own business, when suddenly, naked, digging at an archaeological site. <laughs> deputies, suddenly there's a dick. Well, yeah, there's yeah. deputies arrest naked man after he allegedly threatened bystanders defecated in gas station. Why? Is this Secundinus the shitter? <laughs> is he is he descended from Secund? Is this like <laughs> a I long line of shitters? Right, like how do you say like one thousand four hundred thirty seven in <laughs> Rome in Latin? Uh. The shitter. Deputies arrested a man outside a gas station after he reportedly defecated throughout the store and threatened customers and an employee. So this guy is in the gas station, fucking stark naked, dick out, shouting, just shouting all sorts of crap at people and shitting the entire time. Just how do you go out? This motherfucker is threatening you and just shit's coming out. Of how do you just like you and shit on both ends? How do you regard? It's like, is this happening? Is this like, is this a deep fake? And why? Uh, no. What the fuck? Why? Like, I don't yes. understand these people who have to shit where they're not supposed to shit. Like, you were potty trained at a young age. Should have been. And I know every, every mother has told me that boys are harder to potty train than girls. I won't get into the implications of that because your YouTube comments will be mad at me. Fuck but em. I'm just saying. <laughs> but but I don't. Th I think by 51 you probably should have it down. Yeah the uh, the West Baton uh, the West Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office arrested Joel Pennington, 51, late Sunday night after Pennington reportedly tried to assault people in the area. When deputies arrived, they asked Pennington's mother, who was also there where he was. She replied he was in her van. Pennington began screaming at deputies when they opened the van doors and after verbal warnings, deputies used a taser on him twice. Pennington slid out of the vehicle, was handcuffed. While he was being escorted to the deputy's vehicle, Pennington jumped up and landed fully on his tailbone. Oh. It's unclear Have whether... Have you ever fallen on your tailbone? Yeah. That's horrible. It's unclear whether Pennington was under the influence of alcohol or drugs at the time. I, I would I would wager to say yes. You did this in front of your mom. I his mom seemed particular. I, I don't know, but mom seemed kind of chill about it. Yeah. So I guess we don't have to ask who raised you because she's there, not given a single solitary fuck. Honey, you gonna go inside? Fuck this motherfucker! Fucking fucking. Fuck. Okay, could you get mama a soda while you're in there? The Mountain Dew. And you should you you should go to the potty while you're here cuz I'm not stopping. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Christ. And and why I just none of this. I have somebody been... who makes $9 an hour had to clean all that up. And it's a technically a fucking biohazard but they don't care. They don't care. I I don't I have been angry at a retail establishment more than once in my life, but it's never occurred to me. You know what? I'm pooping on this place. I don't care. Yeah. I'm pooping. I'm pooping and screaming. That's what I'm screaming and pooping. I don't think I could scream and poop at the same time. Actually. Simba can. <laughs> I can I can tell. What, what, whether Simba's going number one or number two in the litter box, because if he's number two, he sits in there 
And that's why we now have a cat grass plant. Because he won't eat wet food. So I'm like, clearly, <laughs> you need some fiber and some hydration because you're struggling. <laughs> oh, all right. So the, uh, the next one comes from It Happened Again. And it's a different government this time. But it's the same fucking forum. I, this is the third fucking time. The, the third fucking time, Tara. Chinese military secrets leaked out of a video game forum. It's Come not the, on. It's not the first time that War Thunder fans have leaked military secrets. If you're just joining us. It's the same game? It's the same fucking game. <laughs> if you're just joining us twice before i think once was british secrets and i forget what the other one was fans of the video game war thunder a free-to-play vehicle combat simulator has leaked classified chinese military documents on the game's online forum according to defense analysts when the details of the anti-tank weapon in question was previously known this is the first time that authentic authenticating documentation have been seen outside of china how do we know the documents are authentic well they're pictured next to the weapon itself um, weapon in question is an anti-tank round fielded by the modern-day Chinese military. Um, its capabilities are a closely guarded secret. At least they were until someone on the War Thunder forums got into an argument and needed to prove a point. This is exactly what happened before uh, as well. Just th This has all been a matter of just to show they were right to win an internet argument. The internet has broken us I was, like when's the last time you saw somebody admit they were wrong on the internet i've done it okay but like, the norm like something in our brains makes us not want to do that like it's like being well, wrong is the worst thing you can be on the internet right yes. and we're not, and I, like, I've caught myself doing this, and I'm like, why the fuck do I care what Jimmy Bunch of Numbers thinks about whether I know enough about fucking Star Wars? It used to be, I don't like Star Wars that much. It used to be Joey Bag of Donuts, now it's Jimmy Bunch of Numbers. <laughs> like, the internet has made it so that, like, you, you cannot be wrong. I And if you're right... Not only do you have to prove you're right, but you have to bring the fucking hammer of God down on people. And guys, it's not that serious. I, I we're gonna have a new James Bond eventually, right? Because because you know we we got we just lost one, we got a new one coming up. I have a picture in my mind of them being like, James, we have to get information on this new weapon. But we don't know how. It's locked up tighter. I have a way. And James logs onto the fucking War Thunder form. What are you doing? I'm going to tell someone they're wrong. Come on now. We'll have you it in five. It we'll hive, have it in five minutes. You know, it'd be the it'd new be Q, Q, Q in his little crooked sweaters. He'd be like, hang on. What are you doing, Colt Master? Well, I'm telling anal puncture 3246 that he doesn't know anything about Syrian tanks. <laughs> I'll have that in five minutes, James. <laughs> and it, it's sad because it's real. <laughs> Yeah. You think you think it'd be a comedy bit, but no, it's third time. Three. You'd think that I would, if I was working on this game, especially if I was in charge of the forums, I would be in fear for my life. I feel like I would just pull a Tom from MySpace <laughs> and run from my creation like Victor fucking Frankenstein and just let it float away on an iceberg, man. Oh. Look at the monster you've made. And also, for like, I hope that there is somebody from whatever intelligence agency just hanging out in these forums. And when these dudes do this, I don't know if it's dudes. It's whatever. Dudes. When these people, it's but it's probably, let's be honest, it's probably dudes. When they do this, I hope that there's somebody who's either like, I would like to offer you a job. And if you say no, I would like to offer you Gitmo. <laughs> Those are your options. Job, Gitmo. Which will it be? Because clearly these people are cracking through every firewall on the planet. Let's move on to Australia. 
You know, it said it said today the kids just don't have a workout. I beg to differ. And this next story is is the, the, the ingenuity of the youth of today. I mean, they're cracking Chinese intelligence. Teen caught driving motorized esky, allegedly caught carrying drugs around uh, Melbourne suburb. And if you know what esky was, I think it's an Eskimo cooler. Is what is what it's short for. Oh, there's a I picture. Could, I could be wrong, but yeah, let, let's have a look. This was his vehicle of choice. <laughs> the slippery when wet is killing me. A teenager has been caught allegedly ferrying drugs around a Melbourne suburb while riding a home homemade motorized vehicle complete with an esky traffic sign and two shovels. What are the shovels for? I don't know. Is that if you don't pay? Police say the 70 year old boy was seen riding the esky around his home suburb of uh, Karam Downs. Uh, after several calls from the police concerned neighbors, uh, the police helicopter unit helped track down the unroadworthy vehicle to the ground inside the Esky. I, I'm pretty sure that's an Eskimo cooler. It's what Esky stands for. It's it's Australia. Uh, police alleged what they found. They have called a, quote, mobile marijuana unit, including drugs, electric scales and a bong. <laughs> Teenagers being dealt with by police. Please have taken to, to Facebook to share with, that they saw the teen driving the unusual contraption around. So is he offering like on-site hits? <laughs> it's often samples, man. Right. Like, was he like, you want to do that here or take it home? <laughs> it's a full service. Sir, we are in a global panini. <laughs> Your whole town can't be sharing a bomb. That's not sanitary. <laughs> I just, the, the the ingenuity of the goddamn thing. Yeah, he's just driving I, around. I, I'm guessing he was sitting on the cooler. Sitting on the cooler with that the fucking gas motor in the back. I don't know what the fuck this thing used to be. This is amazing. I love it. This is this is how the mean next door neighbor kid from Toy Story grew up. <laughs> He's an entrepreneur now. Yes. Bless your heart, man. Oh, Cause that, that is just like, what the fuck else is he going to do? Can't get a car yet. Yeah. Just grow the shit in the backyard and sell it out of a cooler with, with a fucking motorized cool. It's too bad. He didn't have like something to play music. Like it, like it. <laughs> Mom, the weed man's here. Can I have a dollar? <laughs> oh god. Well, I mean, God, I'm, I'm. You know what? I'm kind of. I'm oddly like. Well, you should let him go. This kid's cool. Like, if he could just have like the entire fish catalog, uh, but like music box style, right? This, this kid is contributing to his community. Let him go. <laughs> oh, but speaking of unusual vehicle choices, I we keep seeing on the show people who try to steal things, vehicles that no one. Why would you want to? Of all the cars, okay, Jacksonville, Florida, of course. Florida man charged with stealing street sweeper after muddy takedown. And look at that. Look at that arresting photo. He's been. Wow. Through, yeah. Uh, deputies say one of the deputies sustained minor injuries. He's fine. Um, Jacksonville, Florida. A Jacksonville man has been charged with the armed carjacking of a street sweeper after a muddy takedown. Lakeler County Sheriff's Office say deputies ultimately arrested 18-year-old Sterling Orlando Davis Jones. Wow. Uh, after a three-hour pursuit ended in a mud-filled ditch. Around 4.15 a.m., uh, police were notified that Daytona Beach, uh, they were looking for an armed suspect uh, described as a man wearing a gray hoodie, dark pants, and having short dreadlock-style hair. They say he was driving a stolen pickup truck used as a street sweeper it was taken during an armed carjacking in Daytona Beach. Flagler deputies say they spotted the vehicle 
driver got out and ran on foot. Okay. I realize your choices are a little limited at 4.15 a.m. Yeah. But the street sweeper, dude, you're, you're going like, to... Like, that's conspicuous. Do you know why he got out and ran on foot? Because you can't go any faster with a fucking street sweeper. Well, it does say it was a pickup truck, so maybe. But, but... still, convert. It was one of those converted ones, and even still, that's still yeah. not going. You're not getting better than what thirty miles an hour on that damn thing. Yeah, and you kind of stick out a little. It's not hard to find. Someone stole my street sweeper. Where is it? Over there. It's it's like it was like five minutes it's the ago. One with the big thingies on the bottom of it. Yeah, it's right. It's right. It's still going. You, you hurry if you can catch. <laughs> Why did it take three hours to catch him? I. It's a good question. That, wait, hold on. That is a good question. Like, why was this a chase? <laughs> I is <sighs> yeah that, that's the that, wow they are so bad at their job Th this was a gimme this was a fucking gimme like you're looking for a highly conspicuous vehicle that doesn't go very fast that is right? not doing the job it's intended to do yep and it took you three hours it took them three hours Oh, and he was on probation. So that that's 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 good. That's a good thing to do while you're on probation. Just, why? Why why like man? I would just walk. And like you know, you know they're not gonna let that poor dude take a shower for like two days. Yeah. Cause they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. And I see when they said they used canine teams, I was kind of hoping he jumped into the muddy ditch to like cover his scent, like in the movies. But apparently not. Like the cop tackled him into the ditch, into the mud. I was hoping he was doing like the survival movie thing where you cover your scent with like, the mud. No. Like Arnold and fucking Predator. They can't see me. No, that's not. Exactly. That would have been cool. We're going to finish up in Queens this week. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't be pulling that up, Tara. This. We're like six games ahead of the NL East and 21 games ahead of 500. My team doesn't suck. I'm a made jerk about it. So. But I'm betting one of the fans did something horrible. It's. It's a rare thing these days to bring an entire neighborhood together. Like where I live, you know, people have lived here for like years and years lately. But if you're talking like someplace like Queens, people come and go, they come and go. Yeah. So getting solidarity in a neighborhood is 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 difficult. But one dude found a way. And that was by hitting every single fucking car on the street. Truck driver sideswipes 40 parked cars on a queen street drivers facing charges after police say he sideswiped at least 40 parked cars it happened around 2 a.m with the trail of damage stretching two full blocks from queens boulevard wow. to skillman avenue authorities say the 28 year old man was driving a penske truck and struck dozens of unoccupied vehicles that's a rental truck so it wasn't even his truck it was a rental uh, it's horrible. So, so they, this is somebody who just didn't know what the fuck he was doing. It was horrible, Richard Remarche said. So many cars up and down the street. Some are new, some are foreign cars. I don't know why that matters. It's, okay. Driver was taken, I mean, unless it's like a Lambo out there or something, but driver was taken into custody pending an investigation. If you got a Lambo and you're parking it on the street in Queens, right, yeah. you get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> Sorry. According to police, the driver may have fallen asleep. Oh. You okay. and, and hitting all the cars didn't wake you up? Right. You gotta be a deep ass sleeper to be like just, just fall over with your foot on the bridge, just like <laughs> <laughs> by surely by 
my car 20. <laughs> wake up. No, I can just imagine him sitting there trying to find this snooze button on the dash. Unless you're in a fucking coma. <laughs> Ten more How minutes. How do you get to my- your job? Uh, we are confirming a Penske rental truck was involved in this incident. A Penske spokesperson said, we hope everyone's safe, etc. Yeah, so this is somebody who rented a truck for moving or something. And just... And admittedly, like, in New York, especially the outer boroughs, when people are parked on both sides of the street, it those streets get fucking narrow. And it can be difficult to for it still to be a two-way street. As, that's not an excuse, though. You just no. gotta pay the fuck attention to what you're doing. You, you don't get... I have... Okay, I have driven across country many times and whenever i get super sleepy my ass pulls over i I will sleep at a rest stop i'm not proud but i'll park my ass there so i won't die you just get out walk a couple laps around the car even that never worked move your blood around i I need to take i need to take like an hour or something before i can get back on the fucking road of course that was i pulled over and take a nap i i also used to like it live on monster all the fucking time. <laughs> oh yeah, it was terrible for me. I've, I have done. I am amazed my body hasn't just collapsed in on itself at this point. <laughs> and it's trying. Lord knows it's trying. What with my neck and thyroid and all the my body's like, fuck you. You are out of warranty. <laughs> it's entirely possible this is the monster <laughs> that uh... just all the all the shaking just compressed your spine. <laughs> But yeah, I've and I, I've also I, one time I worked for a uh, I was I was doing theater here in Charleston and uh, I was legal to drive. I was like 16 or so. So I had my license and whatnot. And the director of the show, I was working stage director of the show is like, um, I need you to drive back to the to the uh, this where we have all the sets and everything, the studio and bring stuff back over here and you're going to take my truck. I'm like, okay. And I did. And as I'm on the way back, dude motherfucking pulled out. So it completely was not my fault, which is good. But just the entire side of the car. Just. And it's. Listen, I used to drive through the Bronx in a 2001 Blue Buick LeSabre. There's a couple things you need to know. First of all, the 2001 Blue Buick. Be- why can't I say Buick? It was blue. Bu- Buick blue Sabre it. was a yacht with tires. Mm-hmm. The thing was fucking enormous. I basically had a sofa for a back seat. Okay, car was huge. Mm-hmm. The second thing you need to know is people in the Bronx, it's like they took all of the worst pedestrians on the planet and concentrated them all in one borough. There is not a single fuck to be had in the Bronx. People will come out from behind a fucking moving van into traffic with a baby stroller. <laughs> And I used to pick my mom up from chemo in my Buick in this neighborhood, and I somehow managed not to hit anything or kill anybody. And if I was able to do that, you can drive your fucking truck through Queens and 40, not hit 40 cars. 40 cars, and that's And terrible. that's as many as four tens. And that's t- I like that we got there at exactly the same moment. Oh. <laughs> the first thing we've learned this week is... Uh, if you're feeling sleepy behind the wheel, take a nap or you're going to be con- just fucking up. the insurance that his insurance is now. No. Yeah. Like it's and hey, do not show your face in sunny side ever again. Hey, you had switched to guy go. You could save up to. Oh, no, not you. <laughs> not you. Get the fuck out. Gecko is, the little gecko is like Mm-mm. not not you. No, 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 no. Um. We've learned that uh, if you're going to steal a vehicle, perhaps pick one that has a bit of speed. Yeah. Of course. I was thinking of this because we went to Target before we went on our trip and D- Dan is back in chemo. So he gets tired easily. So he got the little ride on cart. Hmm. That thing maybe goes two miles an hour. <clears throat> and when you have to back it up, it beeps real loud. And I thought about how many people we've done stories on trying to steal those and run off. It's not going to work. 
we've learned that kids these days are more industrious than you give them credit for, especially when it comes to weed. <clears throat> we've learned the easiest way to get military secrets is to insult <laughs> one on someone on a video game forum. <laughs> is to get on the War Thunder forums and tell someone they're wrong. That I swear to God, that's probably become like a hotbed of intrigue behind the scenes. There's like yeah. people from all governments are monitoring the War Thunder. Can you forums. imagine being one of the fucking forum mods? <laughs> they must go through forum mods like sh like like underwear. <laughs> oh, well, that's because half of them disappear mysteriously. Right. Like uh, no, I quit. I'm not trying to get black bag today. Thank you. Yep. Uh, we've learned that be going about your day any old day and suddenly there's a man screaming and shitting and completely naked you're welcome there that's that's life there you go that's and finally we've learned this week that even in the ye olde roman times the the dignified and latin and the the greater Colosseum and the all that they were drawing dicks so crates yeah they're fucking drawing dicks everywhere you are never safe from suddenly penis, even in the past. Even Bill and Ted were not safe from suddenly penis. <laughs> next, uh, next series of Doctor Who, Doctor's gonna get out the fucking TARDIS. There's just a penis right fucking there. <laughs> Go blimey, Doctor, what's that? You get back in the show. Get back in. We're done. We're leaving. Get back Listen, in. Get back in. Having to see Peter Capaldi fight off like sentient stone carved penises for a whole episode might have gotten me to watch that show. <laughs>